Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here with another pack review for you. Today we're going to be looking at the Army ACU Digital Rucksack. Um, now you're on the internet, you're going to find a lot of different prices on this rucksack. A lot of that is going to be because of the different conditions that you can find it in. So you can find it probably as low as 50 bucks all the way up to 250 300 dollars. Um, personally, I got extremely lucky. My brother bought the pack itself along with the waist belt that came with it. All I had to do was find a frame and some shoulder straps and I was good to go. So I was pretty excited. Got a really awesome pack very inexpensively. So to start with, let's run down on a little bit of specs for you. Start off with, it's made of a thousand denier nylon. Now if you remember I did the uh, Marine Corps ILBE rucksack, it was made out of a 720 denier nylon and was uh, had a load expected or a possibility of 120 pounds. This thousand denier nylon can hold up to 200 pounds. It's uh, 4,000 cubic inches on the inside, comes with two sustainment pouches as you can see here on the front making it a total of 5,000 cubic inches. Now this will hold a ton of gear. Personally, there's no way I'm gonna load this thing up to 200 pounds. Just like the last one, I'm not gonna load it up to 120 pounds. What I like about it is that knowing that it can hold that much weight, I'm not gonna wear it out, at least not very easily. Um, now the frame that comes on it is, is a hard plastic. So the frame itself is lightweight. The shoulder straps, like I said, I had to find. I got it a military surplus in the city I live in. Uh, waist belt came on it already. It does have your quick release straps down here for your shoulder straps. Uh, padding back here, but as you can see, this is pretty open. Um, so it's not nearly as padded as the uh, Marine Corps rucksack was. So. Uh, take it or leave it kind of up to you and your comfort level and what you'd like this has worked fine for me uh, Definitely not as comfortable as the Marine Corps pack But it does get the job done it does have your sternum strap and Here's some really cool features that I like let me back the camera up just a little bit or Oops, no, not out to make this a little bit better um Okay, straight at the top of it has a big flap right here, as you can see. Um, it's got the straps that come down here, which help you compress this and pull it up, actually, because obviously you want to wear your pack up high as opposed to down low near your waist. So with all of these compression straps, you can strap it to make it tighter and pull it up higher, which it was really cool because it really balances the weight out really well. That part I absolutely did love. Now, in the lid right here, as you can see, it's kind of mesh. This is a map pocket, so you could unfold your map, have it open to whatever you wanted. You don't have to worry about it getting messed up, lost, or uh, torn up in, inside of all your, along with all your other gear. Um, does have some molly webbing right here across the top. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, I'll show you. Here is your tag to show you that it is authentic. Um, as you can see, just like the Marine Corps pack, it is one big, big giant open pack on the inside. I'll hold it up so you can see all the way to the bottom. In there is also a flap that is zippered so that you can separate the, the halves of the pack. Now this is designed and it will actually fit the uh, modular sleep system that the military has. And along with that, as you can see down here at the bottom, it zips right here at the bottom so that you could access the either the gear that's in the bottom or the sleep system without messing up or getting having to get to all the other stuff or through it. There is plenty of molly webbing on this side, plenty on this side, and there's plenty in the front, but your two Sustainment pouches will take up most of it depending on if you put it down on the sides or up here on the front Personally, I like it on the front and I'll strap knives um, and other gear 
uh, to the sides. A lot of times, I'm, obviously, I'm going to be taking my tripod when I'm out hiking, so I always need to have that. And I need to have it accessible, so keeping it on the outside is cool. If you had hiking poles, um, an axe or hatchet or something like that, all of that fits really well. You got little D-rings on the sustainment pouches. I do love having the sustainment pouches. I wish I had them for the Marine Corps one, but I'm having a real hard time finding them each time I go anywhere. Um, and a lot of times on the internet, they also seem to be sold out. I'll keep looking. I don't look as often as I need to, but since these are really just large open compartments, having your gear organized is kind of tough. Uh, typically, I have everything in Ziploc bags. I'm trying to find pouches and stuff at the moment that are good for you know, having a fire kit, a light kit, um, anything that you want separated to just be in its own little thing to be easy to get to. These do hold a lot though. Um, once again, as you will see, you do have the military tag. It's in both of these. Drawstring closure, which is really nice. And then of course, you get the snap. And then of course you get the US logo on there um, I mean these really hold a lot of stuff and I mean a lot of people will put food in them you know poncho you know, depending on what you want to have access to first uh, personally I would have like poncho rain gear fire gear or in lights and food depending on where I was going what time of day I was going you can change it around while you're out hiking if you needed to uh, but also the same drawstring that you would see on the sustainment pouches you have on the main rucksack itself, easy to use. You're just pulling this back and forth and they give you plenty of cordage to do it. So no worries there. They do have the little ranger bands, bands on all of the straps and so whatever excess uh, strap you have out, you can fold it up and keep it from dangling all over the place, which is obviously really nice to not have stuff flapping everywhere um, a lot of times what I will do is put a large knife here in between the sustainment pouches put some other little stuff on the sides depending on what I, where I'm going what I'm doing how long I'm gonna be out uh, but very customizable to whatever you're doing that is one thing that I love either about tactical gear for law enforcement or for military is that they're extremely good at making it uh, very personalized as to whatever your, uh, I would say mission, but you know, let's just say whatever your adventure is going to be. You know, if I'm going to be out on a backtracking trip and I'm going several days, I can kind of change things as throughout the trip as I need, move stuff around depending on how it's getting used or not getting used, or you know what you've eliminated due to you know consumption with food and stuff. Um, the only thing that I would point out that I liked better about the Marine Corps pack than I do over this one is the Marine Corps pack has uh, a specific area to carry a hydration pack on the outside of it. You can do that depending on the hydration carrier that you have. Um, if you had one that had a lot of molly webbing on it, you could put it on the side, run the straw over your shoulder with this one. But it's not automatically set up to have one inside of it or automatically strapped to the outside of it. So just something to consider when you're if you're trying to decide between the two packs um, ignore the name here obviously this is surplus so it's gonna be whoever owned it I don't know who Kirby was but you do have a drag or carry strap here on the outside um, once again the difference between the Marine Corps pack and this one is the Marine Corps pack had two nice heavy-duty stra uh, carry straps on the sides so I mean the way I put on my packs is I'm going to Put my arms or hands through the straps, grab the sides, and pick it up over my head. You can still do that with this one, but you're just grabbing onto the frame as opposed to very convenient shoulder straps um, or carry straps. Also, depending on how you get yours, if you do get this one, since I did not have the frame, I had to do that myself. If you've never done it yourself, it is fairly complicated. It is not really intuitive to just look at it and know how it goes all, goes together. Uh, so I did have to look it up. I was able to find it on the internet. Once I was able to find it, fairly simple at that point, but it's not very, not nearly as adjustable as the Marine Corps pack. Um, 
the Marine Corps pack, I could definitely move and extend or shorten the frame a lot easier or move the stuff on it. But since this one's so large, it pretty much takes up the whole frame and your waist strap can only go at the very bottom of it. And so it's closer to one size fits all kind of a category. Um, I may be wrong. If you know better and you can leave a comment in the comments below, that would be awesome or a link to a different video to show how to set this up a little differently. But the only complaint I have is that this is so open and with these here, um, there are times when this pack could dig into your back, especially depending on how big you are. Um, I'm a fairly thin guy, only 150 pounds at 5'9". So mostly okay for me, but there was a few times where uh, part of the pack in my lower back was starting to dig in, even though this is Pretty thick padding, pretty tough. I, I mean, I know it sounds like I'm kind of criticizing it because I keep saying that I like the Marine Corps pack more, and I did. But this is highly useful, highly functional, highly customizable, with some limitations, comparatively speaking, with other stuff, um, or with the Marine Corps pack. But overall, I mean, it can carry a ton of gear. It can carry, especially, I'll probably carry this one more in the winter than I will the Marine Corps one, just because obviously winter gear is a lot more bulky so this would fit it a lot easier and it was you know inexpensive to me because all I had to do was buy a frame and some shoulder straps that cost me 20 bucks for both um, so hopefully and as you can see here too just so you can see which generation the frame is hopefully you will be able to see it written right inside there but it does say Molly 2 um, so this was the second generation if I'm not mistaken there's actually up to four generations at this point so the third and fourth generation might be a little better they might fit and be a little more customizable but for the setup that I have this is the Gen 2 and I really I mean honestly I really do like it I really do um, it is a little bit heavy for a pack but as I always state in all of my videos I'm willing to take a little more weight if I know I'm gonna get a huge amount of durability and longevity out of my gear uh, some people are like that they would like to go really lightweight and ultra light and if that's your philosophy and that's the way you like to do it I would highly recommend going more to an outdoor store like an REI or something uh, Bass Pro Shop Academy Sports they sell like Kelties and all that kind of stuff that are really lightweight packs. And they may last a really long time, I don't know. I just know that if a soldier and the government is willing to trust their lives to this stuff, then I will too. Not to mention, this is typically way less expensive than your typical uh, big box outdoor stuff like Kelty and all that. Um, so I love it. It's great. Does is it as nice or as good as the Marine Corps? No, it's not. Because the other one's more comfortable and has a little more customizability to it. I just really need to get the uh, sustainment pouches for the Marine Corps one. Um, but I would still highly recommend this, especially for winter camping or if you're the type of person that's going to carry a ton of stuff because you're going on a really long backpacking trip and you can take the weight. This. It's definitely probably going to be the way to go. It can really take a lot. Um, and I know that, you know, a thousand denier de construction, yeah, it's a little heavier, but man, that's going to be heavy duty and last a long time. Plus, it's uh, fairly waterproof or water resistant, so if it's raining and you don't, you can't get to your poncho immediately or rain pack cover or something, this is still going to repel a decent amount of water uh, before it has a chance to start so soaking through your gear. You know, obviously not waterproof, but definitely very water resistant. All right, so hopefully this is going to help you in your purchasing decisions. Um, I had got my Marine Corps pack for $55 on eBay, shipped to the house, which was amazing because it was in excellent condition. This is in excellent condition. I was able to get it for $20. I think my brother said he made it paid $15 for the rucksack two sustainment pouches and the waist belt it's either at a flea market or a yard sale one of the two um, probably a flea market uh, so if you keep your eye out you keep looking around you may find something local 
even less expensive than what you can get on the internet for. The internet is definitely going to be easier and probably faster, so depending on your time needs, that may persuade you as to which way you want to go and where you want to look. Me, I'm a very patient person. I'm willing to put in time and effort and uh, drive around to places on a regular basis to see what's coming in and what's not and checking websites for price breaks and stuff. Other people aren't as patient, so, you know, I get it. Uh, oh, you know, last but not least, drain holes down here at the bottom, so if water does get into your pack, uh, it will get out. As you can see here, another bu buckle so that you can hook these together. And it does, it will, um, depending on how much stuff you have in it, it will ride up pretty high, you know, depending on how you compress it. So you can really keep the weight up where you need it to be as opposed to sitting on your lower back. I love, I love the fact that this has a zipper at the bottom so that I could get stuff out from here, sleeping bag or whatever else is in the bottom. But I do wish it had zippers on the side like the Marine Corps one did. So, you know, with everything, every plus there's always a minus it seems. That's the one for this one. All right, hope this helped you. Like it, we'll carry it, we'll continue to carry it. Um, so I'm gonna recommend it highly just now it's up to you what do you want to do like I said before if you know of better ways of modifying this of padding the back or if there is extra padding somewhere I just haven't seen it anyway in any of the stores I've been in or websites please leave it in the comments below just so I know and maybe I can modify it and then get back to everybody and let them know uh, how it worked out in the meantime be prepared have fun